Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Teaching the right thing, bro. 
you're not teaching that. And the other thing you gotta realize is this here too. If I had either one of y'all right now, what's your nationality? Nationality? Yeah, what's your nationality?
about the condition of the world right now, right? Read. And Jesus answered and said to him, Take heed that no man deceive you. Right. Take heed that no man deceive you. I mean, when the end of the world comes, don't let nobody deceive you into something else because you have to make sure you pay attention to the signs. What's the deception? White Jesus. What's the deception? Some people say Christ came already again. They say a lot of things. But he said, Don't let no man deceive you. You got to stay in that Bible. Read. For many shall come in my name. Many, how many? Many shall come in my name. Right, a lot of people saying they Christ, claiming their religion is the right religion, but you got to read the Bible to understand what it is. You can't go back what somebody tells you. You got to read it word for word. That's why we go into the book to read it to you. So you can go home and get that straight from the book. You got to read it. Read it all. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. That's what the white Jesus said. I'm Christ. And shall deceive many. And, and how to deceive many? By telling you what? John 3.16. All people can be saved. That's not biblical. Christ didn't say he come back save all people. He said he come back save his people, Israel. That's why ask your nationality. If you don't know your nationality, uh, I guess. So if you don't, if you're not, so the thing is, you gotta realize, figure out, are you Israel? Because if you ain't Israel, you're done. You're done. Because he is coming to save Israel. That's why they say, look, look at, look, like when Israel is Isn't he going to Israel? The people. Oh, yeah. sure. Israel is a people before it's a place. Oh, it is? Yes, sir. Uh, we are the they people. They said going to be down here for a thousand years, right? Cool. Ruling, yes. Yeah. Well, he's going to rule it forever. But we're going to put the other nations in captivity like they did us. Yeah. What do you mean? The same way they're doing us, we're going to do it to them. Yeah, bro. Yes. I thought they all going to be like the home. No. no. Somebody, got, somebody got service. <laughs> Finish what you got. What, got. what about the rapture then? Huh? That's for the Israelites. We don't. We, we, go, we get it for you. Yeah, that, 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 it's that Christian, do, that Christian doctrine. We're going to read the rapture for you. We don't. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And they shall hear a voice. And rumors of voice. Uh -huh. See that he be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Well, when we see these things happening, you say like the end days, and we get happy about it. He said, don't be troubled. He said, let you know. When this stuff starts to happen, you need to be rejoicing. Because you know this time is almost over. It's coming up. So we want to get up out of here. We don't want this anymore. We want rulership back. We had rulership. We lost it. Why? Because we didn't keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? Now that's what we are doing. Teach our people their nationality and then teaching the laws to get them back to God. So when that rapture happens, we can get up out of here. You ain't keeping you ain't keeping commandments, you ain't going nowhere. So what happens after the rapture? Huh? We go to the wilderness and then we go home. So what happens? What's going to happen on the on Germany, when you find out you're going to die a second death. You know there's a second death, right? Yeah. No. You don't know about the second death. Hold on. Is that all we can read on that? I'm going to go back to the first question first. How much? What you got on that? Read it here. Yo, wow. For a nation, you read it here. Read it here. Read it here. Read it here. Read it here.
Say that one more time. Read it again. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Yeah. He, he that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. How we get to America? Huh? Chips. Chips, right? Yeah. And then you say your mom's Native American, right? What happened to them on the, on, when they got sent to the, the reservation? They got put in what? Captivity. So the white man led us into captivity, right? What the Bible say again? He that leadeth into captivity. The white man led a group of people into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. They go into slavery. Read. He that killeth with the sword. They kill us with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. We're going to be killing them. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's our patience. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting for the black Messiah Christ to crack that sky so we can get vengeance. That's right. But you got to be keeping the commandments. You see what I'm saying? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.